Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome again to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I, I had a photo here of uh, a poster here of the Juneteenth announcement for this year. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be the 21st, which is Saturday, this coming Saturday, uh, 21st here in the Portland area, Northeast Portland. We've done it several, a number of years. And joining me today to kind of sort of launch off this, uh, this festivity event and also a historical event are two people that are part of the community and uh, very familiar with this issue. So we're going to have quite a chat about this, inform you and educate you about what is Juneteenth and also the, um, uh, the festivities that are going to be happening here in the uh, Portland area in Northeast Portland. Okay, joining me is a, is a librarian who's been here for a number of years, a, a very famous one. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, I mean, but really, I mean, you know, really, in all due respect, the library there has been just fantastic since you've been there. Ms. Well, Welch, thank you. Ms. Welch. Okay, fine. Patricia <laughs> Welch, welcome. Okay. And she also will be uh, putting on a display in regards to the Holy Show Juneteenth. We're, we're having a program. We're going to have a program. We're going to be opening act right. for the big show, for, for the big program on right. Saturday. We're having the program on Thursday good, on, good. on the date of Juneteenth. Good. And she has, she has a flyer, too. She has a flyer here. I've got it right here. Tom, it says Juneteenth, uh, words along the way. Can you get that? How's that? Can you get that now? All right. Let's see if we got that. I want to make sure you get get a oh, sense yeah. of that. There's a historical photo there that I thought was really yeah. neat that's sitting on this poster. She'll talk a little bit more about that, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's Thursday the 19th yes. at 6 p.m. Right. And that's at 512 North Killingsworth Street. That's in North, the North the Portland, Portland Library. Library. And I so do want to emphasize she'll want to participate there something. Right there. Normally the library is closed on Thursday Okay, evenings. non closed. I've had some people say, are you I'm confirming the date? We, the library itself will be closed. Our, our program will be on the back lawn. It okay. is a rain or shine program. So okay. if the rains do come, then we will open the doors and we will go up to the second floor to our meeting room. We are going to celebrate Juneteenth on Juneteenth in oh, the library. Fantastic, oh, fantastic. Great. great. And usual, my diehard buddy, my <laughs> friend, I normally have two of them here. The, actually, the three, I call them the three musketeers. I know the three musketeers. <laughs> And I'm talking about Clara Peoples, yes. and uh, hopefully Clara is watching. And God bless Clara, Clara and and uh, we really miss you, and hope you maintain your health, and we love you. Say a prayer for her. Right? Yes. Okay. Hi. And Mrs. Green, who's here with them, Mrs. Oralee Green, she's been participating in the, in the promotion of the Juneteenth for a number of years. Yes. A number of years. Yes. Yes. And uh, it's almost like a fixture between <laughs> her and Clara, and, and they brought, they brought me in, and we're making sure that. Um, that it is, it has a, yes. it's historical from the standpoint, it's America. It's America. Yes, it's it not is. about, in all due respect, it's not about just just having a festive party. Right. It's history. History. Yes. And yes. too often we tend to forget about the fact that this was history, American history. Right. Yes, American history and the whole issue of the participation of African Americans in the Civil War, this, that, and the other. We were part of that oh, uh, in definitely. terms of the. And as I understand, it's going to be more of it. A more of an emphasis on the historical aspect of Juneteenth at this year's celebration. Right, oh, right, right, right. I think Doris, right. is, but unfortunately, she's not, she wasn't able to make it today. Today, but but we're going to do as best we can, and we really would like to emphasize the the participation of the community, right. and, and and the majority community across the board. This well, is this is history. Juneteenth is to my mind Juneteenth is about freedom. Yes, yes it I don't is. care who you are, what you look like, where you're from. I think you can be on board with yeah. that. Juneteenth is about family and kinship. Today, I was just I was thinking about just the fact that, um, from what I understand, this year the African American is going to be more involved in the larger celebration. And I thought about how sometimes even we in the African American community we think about ourselves and we think about Africans as if that's separate. And we think that you know our being here and our history starts with slavery, but that's not true. In oh. the same way that. I have family in North Carolina. Some of them I know, some of them I don't. If I go to a family reunion and somebody says, well, this is your seven cousin, cousin twice removed, <laughs> who's, you know, in the blah, blah, blah line of the family, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though they're in North Carolina, I, don't, I may say that's the North Carolina wing of the family, but the mm -hmm. most important thing is their family. They just happen to be in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Right. When people were enslaved yeah, and brought too. to this country, mm -hmm. they had families. They came from families. Right. They're over here. Many of them, the family is still there. So 
when we go back, we're going to see our cousins and our mm -hmm. aunties and our whatever mm -hmm. twice removed. When people come here from Ghana and from all the areas that we came from, they are not strangers coming from another way. They are our cousins. Mm -hmm. They are our family. Right. The fact that we may not know that line as clearly as others do does not mean that it is not a line. It's not valid. It's mm -hmm. not true. Mm -hmm. So I'm just delighted that the international wing of our right. family yes. is going to be more involved this year, that our cousins right. have come mm. to share the celebration with us. But also, I think Juneteenth is just about the importance of family. There are a lot of young people who come to Portland, a lot of them coming to the library. If you're not with your blood family, they will form families of choice. Kinship is so important. Yes, and that's is. why Juneteenth is so important, because mm. for many of us, we were separated from our families. Yes. And when we finally, when the folks in Texas mm. finally got the news that they were free, this was the last state where enslaved people learned this, but it was just an opportunity for us to reunite and to, to reestablish that line. So I know Juneteenth is a prince. All the principles of Juneteenth mm -hmm. are American principles and international principles. They are principles that we can all celebrate. What it's is so the program right. going to look like in, in, in regards to what okay. you're going to be doing well, on the 21st? Okay, on, on well, the no, actually, ours is on the 19th. Um, naturally, we're going to welcome, we're going to give a background, and probably uh, Doris Rush, the head of the community Juneteenth uh, committee, will give the background, talk about the importance of Juneteenth, why we are still celebrating it. We're celebrating it twice, you know, here in, in Multnomah County, one at the, once at the library, once um, at the community celebration. Uh, and then we're going to have a celebration of Maya Angelou, and we're working with Passing Art on that. Oh. We have been advertising that Eugene Lewis, who is a, oh, an incredible singer who like brought tears to people's eyes when he was at a, a celebration that we had a oh, celebration. Eugene, oh, I, I just keep patting on your table. <laughs> we who talk with well, our hands will try not to do that. that. No problem, okay. no problem. Going on. At any rate, just found out this morning that unfortunately Eugene will not be able to be with us, mm -hmm. but he is going to find somebody. So we will still have, a, I know, a wonderful vocalist who will be singing spirituals. We're going to intermix this with Maya Angelou's uh, poetry mm -hmm. because her very life, just her very being is a celebration of the freedom of an individual to, to define who they were. This is a woman who had what a high school education mm -hmm. and if you haven't seen it i encourage people to go to youtube and look up an interview that merv griffin did with her somewhere in the 80s maybe around 1985 mm -hmm. when ronald reagan i know because that came up he was in office mm -hmm. this man did not know what he was doing when he said how do you feel how things are going? i mean as i listened to her talk about that and as she went on this woman was quoting things i mean she was a scholar this is a woman who can match wits and intelligence and reading with anybody. And I thought, wow, this is a woman who created her own self. What an example she is to us. So we're going to do something in honor of her. Mm -hmm. And then if any of your viewers have seen um, the Oprah Winfrey Legends Weekend, oh, in yes. which she commissioned a poem, okay. we speak your name. She, well, actually, she commissioned Pearl Clegg to... Um, to write this poem to honor women in the community who perhaps some were well known, others not as well known, but who had not received their due. When you see them reading this poem, and she had the youngins and the elders, there was not a dry eye at that event. Now those of you who saw it and noticed that Oprah gave diamond earrings to her folks, we're going to do something similar. No diamond earrings involved. Mm -hmm. Don't have that kind of budget. Mm -hmm. I hope before, maybe at the end of the, the program, I could read some of this. But essentially, we're going to do a reading of We Speak Your Name. I have invited people and continue to invite people to give us the names. In this time, we're honoring women at the library this year. Give us the name of somebody who you think is one of the Portland areas or someone in your family who is a phenomenal woman, not because they're much acclaimed. Sometimes there are people who are toiling in the vineyards. There are people like you and mother peoples who have kept Juneteenth alive. And sometimes the word is so powerful. Somebody just needs to say, we speak your name, we honor you, we recognize you. We're gonna have photographs from this year's Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put them up on the second floor in our, our library gallery. We're gonna have the names up there and leave them up there until we have our next exhibit. Just to say, we see you, we honor you, we speak your name. 
and we want others to know you too. I think that's going to be pretty powerful. And then as we always do, we're going to have an ice cream social, make your own Sunday. So You've done that many <laughs> That's right, so don't eat dessert. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, that's going to be quite a deal. You know, Saturday, that's June 21st. No, 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 no. Ours is I mean, June 19th. 19th, 19th. 19th. But, it, we, but, we but it's still inclusive. But it's still inclusive. We wanted to do, do something on Juneteenth. So this is what we're doing, which leads right. into the bigger and larger Event. Right, 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 right. What is it? Okay, okay, good, fine, fine. Well, this is great. I think people should really attend this situation. Oh, I, mean, yes, I think yes. it's gonna. I think the whole situation is gonna be beautiful. Oh, that's fine. Yes. That's fine. Well, now uh, we're gonna go on and introduce Aura. Yes. Aura. Let's talk a little like bit about Juneteenth, and, Juneteenth. And, and let's talk about uh, you know. Let's always give them history. Uh, Normally, Claire was here, and you, you, you and Claire would talk about how this all started, if you will, during the shipbuilding days and whatever. Just share some thoughts, some of those thoughts with the uh, oh yes, the audience. Yes. Um, I um, came in with uh, Clara people way back. Oh, I think it was around 19, oh goodness, 1997, when she first had her um, booth in the Lloyd Center. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband said, well, yes, and she asked him, would he uh, put up some booths for her and would he work with her? And he said, definitely, we'd be honored to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. And uh, she had different ones coming aboard and uh, presenting in their booths what they wanted to have people know about our culture and about the people that came before us. Oh and then she had, uh, she said, and we don't only just have the uh, African-American but we have all others that we love as well. Mm -hmm. She always would reach out. I think you remember, many of you may remember when she used to go to the fields and mm -hmm. get the oh, vegetables yes. and what sense. have you, and even yes. bring them to her house and have youngsters come at her back door and she would give them food. Mm -hmm. She didn't care who they were, what color they were or anything. If they needed something to eat, she saw to it that they got a bag of food to take home. And she used to uh, go to the schools and make sure that they had um, a cheese, I think it was, and uh, butter and, and fish and, and, fish and all, all kinds, kinds of things. That's thing. the definition of a phenomenal woman. Yes, yes it me, is. And that's yes. what she did. And that was oh. that's why I was so thrilled to be able to work with her. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, as, and she said, and I want you to stick with me, young lady. <laughs> and I said, I'll be there with you I'll gladly. Yeah, you have to. Because she was a very phenomenal woman. Yes. What about a little history about Juneteenth in, in regards to... Um, that moment when those troops from, went to Galveston and to tell the, those African Americans they were free. Can someone, someone share about that? Well, it was on June 19th, okay. in 1865, that Major General Gordon Granger landed at Galveston, Texas, with the news that the war had ended and the enslaved were now free. Now, mind you, this is two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation, mm -hmm. yes. which became official on January 1st of 1863, yes. there are various stories given as to why this was the case. Somebody say that there was a messenger who was murdered on his way to Texas and that was the problem. <laughs> and then somebody said, <laughs> or somebody said that the information was dis uh, deliberately withheld by slave owners mm -hmm. because they wanted to reap the benefit of one last cotton harvest <laughs> really? Before getting the word out. <laughs> you know, it could be any of these. It could be none of these. There was also the fact that uh, perhaps President Lincoln's authority over Texas at that time yes. was not as strong. For whatever reasons, two and a half years after the rest of the country got the word, folks in Galveston did. Uh, finally got it. But let me see. It was general order number three. And it says the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves, and the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and free laborer. And one of the things that came out is that some people were like, 
I'm putting on my marching shoes. I'm yeah. gone. Right, right, right. <laughs> Others were like, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and decided mm -hmm. to stay around and see there are as many stories as there are people, but that is the background of Juneteenth. And as I said, one of the most wonderful things, and I think a story that hasn't been told as much and as clearly as it needs to, is that one of the main things that people did when they knew that they were free was to go out in search of their families. And if I can, I just want to refer people to a book called Freeman. It's okay. by a man named Leonard Pitts. And you may have read his work. He's a no, uh, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. He has columns in many newspapers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I was giving... He talks about a man who actually had left. He had escaped and he was free in, I think, Pittsburgh. Okay. Oh. But when he heard the Emancipation Proclamation, this man had a job, left his job, left everything with the clothes on his back and the shoes on his feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He started a 1,000 mile walk to find his wife. Now, if that ain't love, I don't know what, what is. What is but right. that's the kind of love story that we need to hear and don't hear enough. Yes. It's all about family, kinship, reuniting. Mm -hmm. So that is a big part of, you know, what is the significance of Juneteenth? Mm -hmm. You know, the thing, as we, as we talk about this and, and to get that information out uh, to the people at large, how much effort has been made to put this in the classroom? You know, here we are talking mm -hmm. about this history what are we doing here in the Portland Public School area? Are we doing anything about June, Juneteenth in terms of recognizing in the school district? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I uh, still am a substitute after retiring, and I sub in most of the North Northeast schools, and I make sure that when we talk about history that we include uh, the African American uh, presence in the United States and how mm -hmm. it started. Mm -hmm. and I want to ask you something because I was about to say well, I'm not sure, in the school sure. system, but you are. But is this sort of a one to one thing, an individual decision, something that you're committed to doing so you do it? Or is this a part of the overall curriculum? I mean, I'm saying, do all students right. have the opportunity to get this information? Well, Across if, the board. Uh, you, I usually get it to the information to the principal, and the principal will usually pass it on to the rest of the okay. st students and teachers. Well, you okay. know, I'm, I'm sort of reminded when, when, Clara, when, when Clara was on, we talked about this whole piece in, in terms of how she was able to get the, um, her supervisors at the shipbuilding right. on the job about the fact that to, to recognize Juneteenth, but like you were saying, it was just only her. It wasn't something that the, the businesses said across the board that right. we're going to uh, uh, acknowledge the fact that Juneteenth existed, posters right. and all that other good stuff. But it, it's, it's an issue here. What, what do oh, we do is. to get the... Wherever you are, I can't speak to the school system, but I will say I am pleased and proud that Multnomah County Library has supported this from the first time that I suggested that we do something. Mm -hmm. But at this point, and I am certainly hoping it will change, but... The North Portland Library is the only library that has a celebration. Of course, historically, this has been the home of the African American community. Right. The African American community, in large part, not all, but many, are shifting east in terms of where we live. I still think you need to have a sense of history. The branch that I work in is the home of the Black Resources Collection, so I think it's appropriate and wonderful that we continue to do it. But there has to be there has to be somebody who is willing to be intentional about mm -hmm. saying. This is something we need to do, and we have to be vigilant because it's very easy to lose things, not even because other people want to get rid of it, but because other people may not understand the significance. Yeah. And we who do have to say, this is American history. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, the whole Absolutely. story of mother peoples and yeah. how this, this yeah. celebration has persisted. Right. This is the history of this area, a very important part. Yes. So if you right. leave it out, you leave it out in important mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there's been efforts in all due respect uh, to sort of change that to basically um, passing legislation. And I know in Oregon, I'm very familiar with the fact that they had passed legislation to talk about one's culture across the board. Yes. Right. It passed. However, they've not implemented. That's what I'm saying. You can, you can have all kinds of laws. They have right. to be enacted. They have yes. to That's be implemented. Right. And that right. means that people of consciousness have to take up the cause and say, Oh, there, I did it again, sorry. But <laughs> I have to say that, you know, this is what we should do. People yes. have to be vigilant about it because if, you know, like, to lose your history is simply to repeat it oh, right. in the most negative ways. Although there, there's also a lot of wonderful history that we need to repeat and we need to be aware of. Right. But the community has to stand up and say, this is what we want, this is what we need for our children and for ourselves.
Yes. Well, you know, I, I, I really, I don't want to spend as much time on this, but it's very important that we got to get this history out because when you start thinking about the participation of, uh, of the African-American community in, in regards to that date and to the parade and this, that, and the other, we don't really have the representation that we should have. I mean, the, the place should be crowded. It should be packed, if you will. Yeah, and especially uh, this year. I'm this really, year. I oh, mean, so many excited things yes, are happening. Like, yes. I'm hearing uh, in the parade, there are going to yes. be people in costumes, yes. you know, representing historical yes. figures in African-American history. And then at the actual event, this is the first year they're going to have a pavilion. Yes. So you can go in and speak to somebody who represents, okay, I'm trying to think. Of, uh, you can go in and speak to somebody who represents Frederick Douglass. Right. You can learn from our Carter G. Woodson what his significance is. There's going to be a Madam C.J. Walker. They're gonna, there also will be local historical figures. There's someone who's going to be Bernice Kennedy. There's somebody who's going to be Gordon Fletcher. A lot of folks in this community don't know who mm -hmm. the last two are and might not know who the three prior ones are. This is an opportunity to get out and learn something mm -hmm. while also having fun. They're going to have storytellers. They're going right. to have food. They're going to have great entertainment. Let me see. Somebody told me that, what is it? Um, where, 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 where? In Touch, Saida Wright, other local ent entertainers are going to be there. Oh, and something else. They're going to have these old school games like sack rat races and egg mm -hmm. tosses and right. a wheelbarrow race. Mm -hmm. I know they tried at least one of them last year and were very surprised that our children who are generally clued into something small and electronic were able to breathe, let go, and have a good time doing yes. things like that. Yes. yes. This is going to be a wonderful program. It's It's been extended till 9 o'clock this year. Yes. Heard. So, you know, you know, you're always looking for something healthy and wholesome to do for our children. Are you guys That's going right. to capture this, this, this event? Uh, on, on, on that, video or whatever, know. are we going to do anything like that? Uh, actually, the libraries, share? we had not planned to, but you know something? We have a camera. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of the larger event, I don't know. There's so much going on in so many different places, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Which means that, you know, we can't always sit back and watch things on television. Yeah. Right. Sometimes we need to come on out and be there. Yeah. These are two excellent opportunities. We need to step up and be there. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's, it's so it's so important, and I I'm, I'm just spending more and more time on this effort because I got involved uh, with Mrs. Green and and Mrs. People, mm -hmm. and uh, they got me involved because at that point in time we didn't have the military involved That's in the true. process. That's now, true. How are you going? How are you going to be involved? Because well, in all that. due respect, because the American flag is going to be up front. Oh. We've always we've always honored that. So you're going to be uh, the, the Marine the Corps. Flag the Marine Corps, Marine Corps will always don the the flag. Great. And the like. I will be dressed in my Buffalo Soldier uniform to show Hot the significance dogs. of the participation. Great. After we would love to have our horses there and whatever, but <laughs> we're, we're still working on that, right, Ms. Green? Right. We're still working on that okay. aspect of it, but hopefully the Buffalo Soldiers, we do have a unit here locally, oh, and hopefully great. these guys will get get back involved in the, in the process aspect of it. But it's just so, for some strange reason, we're just not uniting it. Well, this, this is so, so important. But, you uh, know, but I'm seeing more unity, I think, of late. It used to be there was like there was one Juneteenth event here and another there and somebody else, but they weren't coordinated. Now it seems like everybody is focusing on the one big event on the weekend. This year the library is doing something like on the 19th, this, right? but we I'm always sure, right? say we are the opening act. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. We are the opening act because we want to do something on Juneteenth. The biggest event will be on Saturday at, what is it, the Legacy Emanuel Field this year? Yes. Yeah, yes. Last year. Yes. Yes. Last year yes. and, and I guess the other thing, too, and again, I'm not trying to be controversial or whatever, but some, someone needs to say something about this piece. Mm -hmm. In all due respect, we've got two African-American newspapers here. And when I looked at the last newspapers that they've just printed out recently, I would have thought there would have been a front-page article on the June Look at this issue. one. Look, I, I have that? to look at this one. Okay. Look at this week's. I mean, is it coordinated? At least I know, uh, I know this week's scanner, I, I, because I happen to be talking to somebody. It's going to be a front scanner. page? I don't know that. I did not ask that. I know that we will be in. There will be major interest in that. And, and um, not just interest, there's going to be something on it. So I'll just say, because I don't work for the scanner newspapers either, but yeah. I would suggest that people always keep up with our two newspapers. Yeah, because right, there's right, a right. lot it's of information. Important. Well, it's so, so important. People rely on it so much. It yes, be, I mean, it's, it's the only nice communication thing. mediums we have. And here, it comes out on Wednesday. Very Wednesday. Important. But that, but this is basically the library's effort. This no, is no, not, no, 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 no. I'm speaking. Some the person who told me this who was on the committee is somebody who's on the larger committee. Uh -huh. They're also helping out with the library's event. But okay, the scanner comes out on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So in fact, it's only going to be a day before the library's event if you don't know about it by next Wednesday. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. it's well enough in advance that some people aren't making plans for next week until next week 
So if this comes out on Wednesday, then people have time enough that they haven't heard, they yeah. haven't seen it, but if they're keeping up with the two most important news organizations in our community, they will see it and they'll know. Okay, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very partial to the standpoint of Mrs. Green and Mrs. Mrs. People. As you well, know, you I should I want to know whether or not their, their, their photo's going to be in there. That's, well, that's you would, a very then, important then, then piece to me. Call, then you need and, to call the scanner. And Patricia. I don't have to have my, no, I've had my 15 minutes. The library. <laughs> well, no, the fact me. of the matter is that the efforts that you've made in all due respect yes. to, to get this recognized, uh, it's not recognized throughout all the libraries in the city of Portland. I know that. Right. Well, <laughs> but, well, now, you know, but the ones in, in the region who have been around here, they have printed out this flyer. <laughs> oh, no, not this flyer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Gotta, <laughs> they print out. <clears throat> I can slow down. They printed this out. They have, you know, they've had it in there. But, you know, you got to get out. We have to get out of the walls of the library, too. So I'm just saying, it's not about individuals. No, it's no, I'm, about, not about, I'm not talking about So I'm just it, saying. This is, it's, it's supposed to be an... It, this is history, right? And we yes. all have American to do history. And I, I'm, you know, we got to get get off of this business about the black and the white. This is history. Right. This is right. American history, all right? And we're not recognizing it. Well, then we have to push it as much as we can. Now, I don't know how much time you have left. I'm hoping before the end of this show that I can read a little bit of the poem we speak. Read your now. poem now, because otherwise I'll, poem. I'll get off. I'll get off for a minute. No, when you, you know get why through, I'm reading I'll this? Start it again because because Sister Green is here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and you, you can hear this once, and I think you're going to hear it both. Okay, this is the poem that is for our phenomenal sisters. Because we are free women, born of free women, who are born of free women back as far as time begins. We celebrate your freedom. Because we are wise women, born of wise women, who are born of wise women, we celebrate your wisdom. Because we are strong women, born of strong women, who are born of strong women, we celebrate your strength. Because we are magical women, born of magical women, who are born of magical women. We celebrate your magic. Sister Green, I'm changing the words a minute. We are gathered here to speak your name. We are here because we are your daughters as surely as if you had conceived us, nurtured us, carried us in your wombs, and then sent us out into the world to make our mark and see what we see and be what we be, but better, truer, and deeper because of the shining example of your own incandescent lives. We are here to speak your name. I am not going to read any more of this because I want people to come out and hear it, but the poem continues, mm. and then there are breaks and names are spoken. And um, in the first reading of this poem, some of the names were Dr. Maya Angelou, who unfortunately is no longer with us, Shirley Caesar, Gospel yeah. Community Diane, Carol, actress Elizabeth Catlett, artist, Ruby D, who again is somebody who, is lo who we've lost this week, Catherine Dunham. Yeah. And the beauty of this poem, the power of this poem, is that there were so many people who we would say, oh, well, Ruby D, everybody knows her. Nobody had really taken the time to honor Ruby D. Like oh Oprah my. honored Ruby D. There was a yeah. beautiful, yeah. and so we don't have diamond earrings and, and <laughs> we don't have a, a ball, yeah. but we, we understand the importance of the word. And we will be speaking your name and honoring you and honoring other people. And again, I ask the audience who watch, if there's somebody that you feel should be honored, Please, please, you can email me. You can come by the library and just put it on a piece of paper and say I'm leaving it for Patricia, the manager, or whatever. If we receive the name, we will probably only be speaking about 20 names when we're doing the, you know, doing the actual reading of the poem mm. that day. And we can do at least 20 more on Saturday. But we will also yeah. have these names up because sometimes you just need somebody to speak your name. So mm. I am so proud to have the opportunity to do this t for you today. Thank you. Oh, and I, am, mm, that, that I so really appreciate lovely. everything I, I, you've done. I really appreciate it. But you know what? I know we're going to be taking a break. But before you leave, mm -hmm. I've, got a, I'm, I've got a request for you. Because it's really something that we, we need to start recognizing more okay. of. This is Father's Day. Yes, it is. And too is often we tend to forget soon. about the fact that there are fathers out there. This is true. And uh, oh, too yes. often we tend to forget that... We, we talk so negative about uh, African-American males. I don't. If you will. Well, I'm just, I'm just sharing many, a thought with you. Many people. We do. I understand and, what you're and saying. The fact, yes. And then another point I might make is that here we are today, in all due respect, we got Gay Pride Day Parade on Father's Day. Well, there are gay men who are fathers. No, but understand what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, we, we don't have Gay Pride Day on Mother's Day. See, my point is so important that we recognize our African American uh, males. This is true. Because that is it, true. it's this family. Is true. We're, 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 we're very hard, we're, we're, we're very family oriented kind of. But if you leave the, the male out of the family, then we don't have family. This is true. It's very important. So I'm, I'm just going to ask a suggestion. Maybe next year we might be able to maybe, maybe profile or highlight something in regards to Father's Day. 
Okay. At the Absolutely. Library. You know what I'm saying? Just Absolutely. as a thought. Just as a thought. Cause, cause I, it's a great thought. I mean, we, we we respond to thoughts and requests and whatever. Yes. Yes. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. I'm just I'm just making that point because yes. we got so with the incarceration of African American males in this time it's 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 phenomenal. It's really yes. and we've got to make some sort of effort to sort of recognize. You're right. And we have to make true. that effort. You know what I'm saying? That's I appreciate we have to that. make that That's effort. True. Okay. But that is that, I hear you. But, but you know, you you know, all due respect, know your husband too and and you, you're you're a wonderful I'm saying, librarian. I don't speak badly. <laughs> no, go on. no, but unfortunately, no, on. they're just not recognized. And I'm, and I'm just I'm just making. But a and point. you know what I'm I, what I thought you were going to say, and I also think is an excellent idea. This year, I think there was so much energy around uh, Maya Angelou, and just the idea that, in fact, frequently sisters who've been toiling in the vineyards and behind the scenes are not recognized. But I also think that we could do the same thing. There are poems yeah, that speak sure, to the right. strength of black please, men please, yes. and please. that we can recognize please. those black men in our community who again like you and others who are just there being positive my husband is also a wonderful father yes. a yes. wonderful yes. grandfather yes. Yes. All right. and so that needs to be recognized yes. and his name needs to be spoken yes. and there, there are so many men out here and and young men and boys who are doing great things yes. but that's not really the message that the larger society and the media is used to giving out it's not sensational it is not quote unquote sexy and so all of the people who are doing the right things they're going on and they're doing the right things mm -hmm. but they're not getting the acclaim mm -hmm. they're yeah. not getting the acclaim and we so need no, to start i think you're absolutely right yeah we got to do something you're about right that. True. Really that is so and true you're the one you're the chosen one I see that. <laughs> I hear that. Thank you. I, I'm so excited about it. The fact that you're you're part of the the organizational factor here of this uh, of this particular event and and what you're putting on in regards to Juneteenth at the oh, yeah. at the library. I mean, hopefully, uh, the, the let's see, the mayor gets uh, get uh, understand that uh, is he part of the library? No, I would say well, actually. If we want to go that route, what we want mm -hmm. is for the uh, the Camelton County Chair. The Montgomery County Chair. Okay. Yes. Ah. Oh, yes. Okay. We want Chair Kafour. Okay. <laughs> okay. To know about it, but if the mayor and wants maybe to Loretta, know about it, Loretta, Loretta, this is her district. Oh, this is her district. Oh, commi you know, commission is wonderful. Okay. Commission right, has been right. in North Portland Library reading to little children and librarians. know, I mean, there really okay. is like an art, but there's a skill okay. to reading. Okay. Honey. Okay. Commissioner Smith came in there, did all the right things, turned her book around, engaged her audience, so she's been incredibly supportive. Okay, good. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm glad, she, I'm glad she's going to be a part of the process. Yes, okay, good. absolutely. Well, hey, this has been great, Trisha. I'm going to I'm gonna hold on, Ms. Green, that we're going to speak okay. a little bit more about Juneteenth and the okay. parade. This is very important. Yes. But we want to thank you very much for being a part of the event. You the, are of these more events. than welcome. And I would, encourage, I would encourage the community to please attend this event on the 19th yes. which is thursday thursday six o'clock rain or six shine. rain or shine i mean the kind of i mean i, I know this is going to be a great participation i think it's just and i think percent. it's going to be a beautiful beautiful it, event. it's going to be just fantastic i really appreciate it and thank you very much for being a part of this and once again it starts at what time it starts at six o'clock it right. goes eight o'clock we will have music we will have poetry and we will have an ice cream social where you make your own Sunday. Because for some people, that's the big draw. I like that. I like that. I like that one right off the bat. Do you Folks, we, we, now? good. No, no, just for a moment. I'll take a short break. We're going to take a short okay. break, and we'll be back. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks, man. Okay. Are we at break? Can I go ahead? Tell you how. You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend.
we're talking about trying to get some enthusiasm in this year's Juneteenth. Right. I mean, I'd like to see more people out there on the sidelines. I mean, the kids yes. were sort of very, very excited, you know what I mean, when the, the few that we saw. And right. It's a beautiful parade. I mean, the folks are getting out there, and, and it's just a beautiful piece. you got Paul Knowles and his... And his little, little, his little, uh, what is it, little, little, little motorcade. car, little, little his yeah. motorcade. <laughs> in, in, in the motorcade aspect of it, yes, going, I guess. Yes, but, yeah. but really, I, I really would hope for and and, and uh, encourage everyone to try to at least come out and and see that. And then after we got festivities after the fact, mm -hmm. but it's, the history is that parade. Is the yes, history, yes. The, 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 i.e., just the replica, replicating the fact that that it took uh, what Lincoln sent them some troops down to Galveston, down right, south, and said, right. hey, uh, African Americans are free. But the fact of the matter is, he also, and I think the reason why he made that point, like Glory, the movie Glory, the number of African Americans that participated in that Civil War, yes. over 300 and some thousand or so yeah. participated in that particular war yes. uh, between the states. And too often we tend to forget that. And it's mm -hmm. not being taught in the schools. Not right. like it should. It's right. not being taught in the schools. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of a, and here's a, here's a librarian who just, was just on just a moment ago. And it's the only library in the city of Portland, other than the fact that they've got a, a flyer. Right. <laughs> the only library that, that, that's not, that's recognizing it. It's not, they're not recognizing it. Yeah. And what do we do? What do we do? So anyway, what we're gonna do this time around, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the parade. And we're going to talk about one of the organizers here and kind of ask her how many folks are there and, and see if we can get more people, if there's still enough time to, for people to sign up right. and sign up and be a part of the parade, right? right? Ms. Green? Yes, yes, okay, Ms. Green? yes, yes. Now, let's talk a little bit about how did the parade, uh, uh, Frank, let's introduce you right off the bat. Uh, did you miss? Okay. Let's see, I forgot, I forgot. That. Where's, my, where's, my, where's my page on you? Where's, on Aura. Aura, Aura, Okay. This is Green's daughter. See? <laughs> Ms. Aura Should be Ragsdale. Anyway, or Ms. Aura, Aura Ragsdale, Mrs. Green's daughter. Yes, okay, yes. I've seen her many years, but I'm getting at that point in my life too. <laughs> and I know she's directed me too, as, as far as the parade is concerned. But right. she's the organizer. She's an Aura. You, you're the one that basically put put the whole put all these folks together, right? Yes, Line them up. Yes, pretty much. Talk a little bit about how's it going to be this year. What, what's it going to well, look like this year? What it uh, yeah. This year, well, we've we've um, accumulated quite a lot of floats. This year. Oh, did you? Uh huh. We have a lot of people that are involving themselves. A lot of church groups, um, a lot of community community organizations that are going to be in the parade. But my main um, float, the main thing that I work on, I was working on the Amistad, the the boats that brought the slaves over. Right. And um, I really stress the forty acre and a mule float because that is more significant than just about anything as far as I'm concerned in the parade because it was promised to us when we were promised our freedom they promised to give us something to keep us going and that was 40 acres and a mule mm -hmm. well as of today what is this June 9 2014 we have not received our 40 acres and a mule yet <laughs> And today, we need the 40 acres and a mule equivalent to, in cash, as of today. <laughs> well, she put you right up there. So, okay. Sounds like you, Miss Green, Miss, 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 Miss People, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, every nationality that has been promised has received, except for our people. And, you know, I've been doing this since I was nine years old. And I, I am proud of my age. I am 58 years old, and I'm still fighting for my 40 acres and a mule. <laughs> and I need some help. Well, you know, I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll make a point about that, too, in regards to the participation right. of the African Americans during that particular time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the way, the way uh, a military was paid, mm -hmm. the t entire military was paid, was the 40 acres and a mule. Right, right. See, a lot of folks don't realize right, that. Right, right. But, and, and that history was that, if you saw the movie Glory, remember mm -hmm, the movie Glory with mm -hmm. Denzel Washington, that's yes, that yes. And it, it was a beautiful movie. In fact, mm -hmm. you can get it on YouTube and you can look at it. It's yeah. a really good one. It, it's, 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 it really represents history in, in, its, mm -hmm. in, a, in a way. It, it participated. So the bottom line is that naturally when President Lincoln, that was the way it did. That's how they got paid. Right. But then all of a sudden is that uh, when he got shot, <laughs> 
mm-hmm. and killed, President Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Yes. All of a sudden, the new president that came in mm-hmm. presented that, said that was it. Right. That uh, the 40 acres and the mule did not apply that's to the right. African Americans. That's the history. Right. That's the real history that's aspect right. of it. That's right. And I, I think you're right. I think maybe maybe we might uh, we might be at least start it off there because the records are there. Because right. I, I, yes. I noticed that in the movie Glory, that the that all the military people who joined the military actually mm-hmm. signed. Yeah, they right. signed the paper. The they documentation did. is sitting up in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. So, so maybe they could get the the history, that history, and at mm-hmm. least contact those families. That's right. As a start. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. so, but again, as I say this, and my point is that that's why history is so important. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why the idea of the library. I mean, that's that's the whole idea is keeping up this history. Right. <laughs> so you right. can go and get representation. Right. Right. Yes. We've got to be able to put this in the class. Classroom, right. So we can start educating folks about the importance and the significance of what you just said. Right. Because too often people are looking at it from the standpoint of saying, well, gee, they don't need nothing. What's this? Is it's always welfare, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't do that. And, yes. and, and I appreciate what you're and saying. We don't all appreciate it. We, we don't appreciate <laughs> it. And, and, I would, and I would challenge, if you will, those elected officials mm-hmm. oh, yes, from yes. the community, in all yeah. due respect, Mr. Lou Frederick and and, and Loretta, she's there now as commissioner, she, and uh, uh, at least taking the lead. I'm not trying to be negative about them. I'm right. just saying this is so, so important. It is. It is so, so important. People talk about the community, and a number of the people are, are not are basically leaving the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got new folks coming in. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a black community. It's getting to be probably it's not a black community. Mm-hmm. We put boundaries on it mm-hmm. in a, as far as a district is concerned. And even then, it, it was having some tough times. Right. Oh, right. yes. Oh, I don't want to start yes. preaching right now, but... Uh, mm-hmm. but it's, you might we, have to. It's, it's <laughs> a, so, so I, I'm just... Ma- the point I'm making is that uh, this is a very significant, very important uh, Piece uh, event. of history. Yes, it's it history. is. Yes. I've been it's doing American this for... How many history. years now we've been doing this thing? Now, Goodness. Been, since, how many, uh, well, since you were nine yeah. or so. And, so that's and, about that's over. almost 50 years. <laughs> that's, that's a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's a long and, time. And so I'm appealing, time. I'm appealing, if you will, to those African Americans here, whether you live in the community or you don't live in the community, try to participate. Bring your kids out. Right. Bring your kids out. Line the, line the path of the parade. And by the way, let's, let's talk about that right off the bat so before I get into the other area. What's the path of the parade? Where are we going to be? Okay. Uh, where are we going to start? Where are we we're gonna going start? to start by the um, Wells Fargo. In northeast Portland. Northeast Portland oh. on um, Jarrett. And, and with Martin Luther okay. King. Mar- we're right. at Martin Luther King Boulevard King and, and Jarrett. Jarrett. Right. Yes. Right there by the... Correct. And um, well, um, you were also asking about did it, people still get involved in it. You still, We still have sign-ups for you to okay, um, be involved. We also... We, we try to um, interest the community by allowing them to ride on the floats with us. Okay. But you yeah. have to come. We have um, costumes. We plan on making a um, costume ready. Okay. You know, we want to dress the part. And um, we didn't put the Amistad in last year because we didn't have enough people, you know, right. to, to play the part. But with or without him, we're going to have the Amistad in there because that was how we got here. Mm -hmm, That was mm -hmm. one of the boats that brought us over. And um, we're going to also interject people into all the the 40 acres and a mule. Okay. And then I'm not sure what other floats, but my biggest, my my main floats will be the 40 acres and the mule, the Amistad ship. And then um, my brother will also be... Having his um, band, Kurt Green. Yeah, Kurt. You heard yeah, about his Kurt. band. Yes, yes. Kurt will be there. have their float. Right. So I don't know if they'll need the dance part people or what, but if you want to be involved, come out and help us, and you're more than help, help, um, welcome to help decorate. Now I supervise the decoration, but I've been blessed the past couple of years where all I have to do is say, "This is what I want to go here," and they just immediately jump right mm-hmm. to it, and people end up, you know, they're proud of what they've done. And I, I, I take pride in what I do, and mm-hmm. I like to be number one. I like to shine. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So if you want to shine, you come help us decorate the place. And then, like I said, it's, it's for all. It's all, all of it. Right. Anybody everybody. can participate and in this. Right. And and yeah. I might add that for some of the participation that we, we're going to be having is that we're going to have the chairman of the Republican Party mm -hmm. who's going to be a part of the parade. Oh, good. And, and it's still not too late for the chairman of the Democratic Party That's right. to be, yeah, a, to be a part of this parties. deal. Yes. And those folks who are running for office, Running for office, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, or whatever, mm -hmm. please yeah, come to the parade and and, uh, and share this American history. Yes, with all yes. for all of us, for that matter. And yes. you might get a few votes. All right, yeah. <laughs> you might there get a few go. votes. Is there a phone number they can call uh, um, you in any way, shape, or form to? In well, else? Oh, they didn't call me. What the heck? Right, they, they, they can call. call you or Mrs. Green as right. far as wanting to be in the number. parade. There's a number. There's a number. Five zero three two three five. 8079. Again, 503 235 8079. That's Mrs. Green if you want to participate. And then you can either call me at 503 7010457. 503 7010457. And uh, I might add that the Marine Corps is going to participate. Mm -hmm. and, and we're also Green. accepting donations. Donations, like yeah. Now. If you have hay that you want to add to the floats or whatever, you want to donate flowers. that. Mm -hmm. Flowers, mm -hmm. you know. What about Any little remittance for, for cars? If you're going to put a car in there. If you want to show your car, bring your car in. And isn't is, there, there a, is there a little, is there a little uh, fee like for a that? Fee how, is, there, is there a small fee for that is to help you guys yes. out? How much is that? How much is that? Anything particular? Uh, uh, if Not they do much. it before the 31st, it's right. uh, $15 to enter. And then according to how many you have in your group. Okay, so fifteen bucks, right? Yeah, okay, pretty good. much. That's, 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 that and then good. it's twenty-five after the thirtieth. The thirtieth was well, after right. thirty, and so it's twenty-five dollars. Yeah, twenty-five dollars, pretty 20, much. And as many and as you want. And this just basically help for some of the activities and some yeah. of the things you need, candies yeah. and all the, all yeah, the other goodies and whatever the like, whatever. Right. So. Well, that that's a good deal. That's that's really a good deal. Really. And then naturally after that, you've got after the parade, after you're going to have the festivities over there at the. Emmanuel Hospital? Uh, yeah, right, right down, lot. yes. Right yes. down that line aspect of it. But 10 o'clock, it starts at 10 o'clock, folks. Mm -hmm. That's Please right. come and participate. Right. And thanks again to uh, uh, Portland Cable Medium. Uh, this is going to be rebroadcast, if mm -hmm. you will. And hopefully, hopefully we're going to be able to get someone to shoot some of that event. Right. <laughs> we got to work. We right. got about a week. It's going to be most, most cases that have been our crew have been doing that stuff. Todd's been doing it over the last year or so, <laughs> a number of years for that matter. And we're going to see if we can get some, capture some of that parade. Right, that would but be But if we beautiful. can do that. Now, what about the media? Are they going to be, I, I've not noticed anything in the, uh, in the, in, in i.e., the, the state's newspaper, the Oregonian, from the standpoint of educating people I, about well, Juneteenth. Uh, I don't right. know. So are we going to have, was there any, anybody? They were there, there last year, and they took a lot of pictures, but, I'm not quite sure what happened yeah. because I think that we got to see one picture in the paper, but nothing, not, nothing major. Not, nothing not, major. No, no. What, 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 what about look this? It up. <laughs> the group that's helping us will have a a cameraman that's going to be following. And, and taking pictures. But what about the meetings that you all have had? Have, have the media been invited to, to come? And uh, yes, they did. They did, they did invite. Uh, did they uh, the, participate? Did they come? Uh, I don't know if they came to the meetings because I didn't attend all okay, of them, okay, but uh, okay. they were in definitely but you're invited. invited. You got, yeah, you, they're you got, invited you, you to come any time. Don't you have one more meeting date? One more. One more. Yes. One more. This is coming Tuesday, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. What day would that be? What day? That would be uh, the... What is it? Tuesday. Well, look at that. Well, we're still cap trying to capture. Yeah. Uh, well, what day is that? Well, this Tuesday, Tuesday coming. Tuesday coming. It should be, let's see, if, the, if that's a Thursday. 16th? 16th. 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 Okay, and where, where is that going to be? That's going to be... Um, but tell them to give you a call. Give, give you a call. How's that, Mr. Green? Okay, yes, just, yes, just give, yes. Me, give you a call. Because and you give it the tells address, you right, right here where it's going to... Uh, the meeting. Uh, no, I'm thinking okay. about the meeting for meeting, the meeting uh -huh. for Tuesday. For Tuesday. Tuesday. The okay. Tuesday meeting. This Tuesday. Oh, the Tuesday. This Tuesday meeting. It's going. Any. It's going to be off of 21st and. Um, but have them give you a call. If they just give you a call, you can pretty well give right. them the direction. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very important. They need right. to have your phone number. 503. Oh, we already give yeah, we're giving it 503-235-8079. 503-235-8079. That's Mrs. Green right here. And you can call me too. I mean, I'll, right. by this time I'll, I'll know exactly where to go. With okay, it, you know, okay. So give me a call aspect of it. And would hope and encourage the media, if you will, yes. to promote this event, this historical event, this history. It's much needed, especially during these times. Mm. Uh, we are definitely in need of uh, togetherness. Togetherness, across the, across that's what it's about. And this yes. is a very important history. So yeah. I would encourage the media, from all of the media for that matter, mm -hmm. to right. at least recognize that event uh, right. for that particular time. And hopefully next week we might get some coverage enough 
that uh, folks will be able to bring their kids and oh, yes. uh, oh, their kids and, so cool. and others and senior citizens, and vets, right. the the whole nine yard line, the parade route, if mm -hmm. you will, right. and uh, and and see the participants. They'll but, have all types of activities at and, the uh, and that's the other thing about the, the yes. activities for the kids and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other, which is good. And then you got the library that's going to be on the nineteenth. Right. I think that's a really a very important piece there too. You right. can go to the library there off of North Killingsworth. Mm -hmm. That's 512, 512 North Killingsworth Street. You can give them a call at 503-988-5394. And Patricia is great. She's fantastic. She's organized, if you will, this effort. Uh, and she's going to have uh, all sorts of kind of readings and things of that nature. Right, Again, right. Juneteenth. And um, so I think it's very, very important. Look like we're... Look like we may get something. And that's going to start at 6 That's at 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah right. 6 p.m. Thursday. Thursday. In fact, the library is supposed to be closed that day, but they're going to open it up. They're going to, they're going to be uh, outside, so to speak. But if mm -hmm. it should rain, yeah. they're going to open up the library. She's going to open up the library, and the go festivities upstairs. will both go upstairs and continue the participation. Right. Yeah, uh, Mr. There's no website. There's no website, unfortunately. There's no website on it. I wish I right. wish there was one. But but the library, the North Portland Library, right. yeah, give the North, North Portland Library a call at 503-988-5394. The event starts at 6 p.m. That's that Thursday. And then I can't overemphasize, I'm still doing it over and over and over, mm -hmm. about the parade. Now, you, got you, you got Paul Knowles. You got Paul Knowles going to be up there. Paul Knowles is going to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, if you want to decorate, help decorate, the Amistad and the um, 40 Acres, we will be decorating it. Now, we've been doing it on Teriyaki Heaven, which is on MLK, Martin Luther King, okay. between um, Holman, Ho Holland and Stafford. They've allowed us to decorate our floats there. Okay. And um, I, I, have, I did Holland and Stafford, is that right off of MLK or is that, it on it's MLK? It's on MLK. It's Teriyaki Heaven is, is the restaurant. And we do it in the lot. At, it will start Friday night. About seven or eight. Well, and wind up uh, finishing up the floats around 9:30 okay. in their okay. lot. So okay. if you want to come and help, we'll be there decorating. If you have something to donate, we'll be there decorating. And I, I have to double check with the owners, but they've been lovely for the past three or four years, and that's where we have been doing our floats. So if you have a donation, if you decide you want to put some of your kids in it, or if, even if you want to be on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be a good time to come then, and um, like I say, we're just going to dress the part. Good, good, good. So. And I guess uh, let's let's also acknowledge Doris for a moment. Yeah, she she's uh, she's kind of like taking the lead, right? Mm -hmm. Doris, Doris, yes, Doris yes, Rush, yes, yes, Doris, yes. Doris, Doris Rush, Doris Rush. They want to commend her for being there. I know it's a tough job, but yes. she's been she's mm -hmm. been there and she's been working very. Now, in the last few minutes, I mean, we shouldn't have the whole hour. Or whatever. This is Father's Day. Yes, yes, it, it is. is this is Father's Day, and we, we need to recognize Father's Day. That's and we right. haven't been doing it as much, Ms. Green, right? Right. And um, our young African American. Very important. Very, very important day, and hopefully we can spend a little bit of time that next time around right. and do something on Father's Day. Yes, right. Let's recognize put something on recognizing fathers. Father's Day. Yes. And guys, don't worry about it. We're going to recognize Father's Day. Well, I just want the community to also know that a very important father plays the mule every year on 40 Acres in the Mule. And that's my husband, Moses Ragg. Really? <laughs> He's very faithful. He helps put the floats together. And him and the gentleman that drives the truck always end up cleaning up. So they're the greatest fathers I know <laughs> at this point in time. But they're always there working on the Juneteenth parade and the floats and any other miscellaneous, getting the water, bringing it there back and forth. So our men, our men play a big part. Oh, they play a big part. A I, very big and part. And I, I can mention Barry, Kevin Barry, you know, Ken yeah. Barry and, and, and others, and Rice, and I mean, they, they go them. on and on and on. You got, yeah. I mean, you've got many individuals that are here within this particular community who have to be African-American males. That's and then, correct. And then the, the whole idea, you got a number of these young people who have been incarcerated, mm -hmm. especially black males. Oh. Oh, and yes, uh, yes, not you yes, know basically yes. it, it's just how, it's just how the politics is playing among black males right. and, and see how do you get them to get back respectful if you will I to see. to the African American woman who's mm -hmm. had that child yes. you know I mean? it's a, it's a tough that's an issue it and is it's a, a very major issue it's a major and if we're going to get back there we got to bring them back to the front of the line that's, that's right. right you know that's what I'm saying right. and that's why and I've always said this to uh my friends and I realize they're part of the community also too, the the gay community and the like. Mm -hmm. but, but if they would if, if they would have that parade 
mm -hmm. on a day other than Father's Day, right? I'd be more than glad to march with them. There you go. I'd have no problem with that. There you but go. the fact of the matter is, we've got to recognize Father's, Father's. Day. Father's is what's like we head of the household. Mother's Day, head of the, household. Head of the yeah. household. Well, this has just been great. And this, anything else we might want to say, Mrs. Green? How are you doing in your, in your, you're still teaching, Ms. Green? No, yes, you're still, still substituting. Teaching. So how, how are the kids doing out in, in the They're, classroom? Some of them are doing quite well. Uh, you always have two or three that uh, want to be get out of line. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank God I'm able to guide them and direct them the way good. they need oh, to good. go and good. remind them. Good that uh, if you can't do what you're asked to do, then you get a referral. Okay, okay. and then one lasting comment, what about a little comment to Clara, recognizing Clara? Mm -hmm. Oh, Clara, I'm just uh, praying that she's going to be with us and that everything will be all right. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Can you give us and a little short- And we miss her. Yes, can you give us a little right? short prayer for closing? Can you give us oh, a little yes, short prayer? Oh, yes, yes, Let, yes, yes. yes. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity today. We thank you for Mr. Broussard and for all of his friends here and for the precious media. We thank you for all the fathers all over our land and country. And we ask that you bless Clara and her family as well as all of our people in our land and country. In Jesus' name, we ask it all. Amen. 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 And bless you, Ms. Green. Thank you. Folks, thank you very much. Hope you, hope you will attend. I'll see you next week. Take care. What do you say? Am I still? Are we okay? We can talk. Oh. <laughs> we can talk. I think we did good. What do you think? Okay. Uh, that we brought was a, we brought pretty a, good. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't want to hit, hit Patricia that way. Yes, well, she, well, she, she didn't say anything wrong. No, no, that's right. As long I mean, as you're not saying anything wrong, that, that's, that's what's that's important. That's right. I ain't saying anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a jump over. You know